Bias Blind Spot The tendency to think that oneself is less affected by cognitive biases compared to others. Gambler's Fallacy Gambler's fallacy happens when there's a tendency to think that future probabilities are altered by past events, when in reality they are unchanged. Omission Bias It's the tendency to judge harmful actions as worse or less moral than equally harmful inactions. Proportionality Bias our innate tendency to assume that big events have big causes, which may also explain our tendency to accept conspiracy theories. Moral credential effect. It occurs when someone who does something good gives themselves permission to be less good in the future. Self-serving bias. It's the tendency to claim more responsibility for successes than failures. Framing effect. The framing effect is the tendency to draw different conclusions from the same information, depending on how that information is presented. This includes the contrast effect, which is the enhancement or reduction of a certain stimulus's perception when compared with a recently observed contrasting object. Actor-observer bias. It's the tendency for explanations of other individuals' behaviors to overemphasize the influence of their personality and underemphasize the influence of their situation, and for explanations of one's own behaviors to do the opposite. Picture superiority effect. The notion that concepts that are learned by viewing pictures are more easily and frequently recalled than are concepts that are learned by viewing their written word form counterparts. Outcome bias. It's the tendency to judge a decision by its eventual outcome instead of the quality of the decision at the time it was made. Mere exposure effect. The mere exposure effect is a psychological phenomenon by which people tend to develop liking or disliking for things merely because they are familiar with them. Hard easy effect. It's the tendency to overestimate one's ability to accomplish hard tasks and underestimate one's ability to accomplish easy ones. Survivorship bias. Survivorship bias happens when concentrating on the people or things that survived some process and inadvertently overlooking those that did not because of their lack of visibility. Bader meinhof phenomenon. The Bader meinhof phenomenon, also called frequency illusion, is the illusion where something that has recently come to one's attention suddenly seems to appear with very high frequency shortly afterwards. The reality is that before we placed our attention on that element, we just ignored it. Availability heuristics. The availability heuristic is the tendency to overestimate the likelihood of events that easily come to mind. The availability of memories can be influenced by how recent they are or how unusual or emotionally charged they may be. Dunning-Kruger effect. It's the tendency for unskilled individuals to overestimate their own ability and the tendency for experts to underestimate theirs. Halo effect. It's the tendency for a person's positive or negative traits to spill over from one personality area to another in others' perceptions of them. Pygmalion effect. The phenomenon whereby others' expectations of a target person affect the target person's behavior in a self-fulfilling prophecy. Decoy effect. This bias is widely used in marketing. It's the phenomenon whereby consumers will tend to have a specific change in preference between two options when also presented with a third option that is asymmetrically dominated. An option is asymmetrically dominated when it is inferior in all respects to one option, but in comparison to the other option, it is inferior in some respects and superior in others. Selection bias. Selection bias is the bias introduced by the selection of individuals, groups, or data for analysis in such a way that proper randomization is not achieved, thereby failing to ensure that the sample obtained is representative of the population intended to be analyzed. Anchoring bias. The anchoring bias is the tendency to rely too heavily on one trait or piece of information when making decisions, usually the first piece of information acquired on that subject. This is why first impressions are so important. They paint a picture of what the other person is, and that picture gets anchored, making it hard to change. This bias is often exploited during negotiations. When the seller gives a seemingly unreasonable high price, that price becomes the starting point for the negotiation, and the buyer inadequately adjusts from it. Confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is the tendency to search for, interpret, focus on, and remember information in a way that confirms one's preconceptions. Overconfidence effect. The overconfidence effect is the tendency to have excessive confidence in one's own answers to questions. For example, for certain types of questions, answers that people rate as 99% certain turn out to be wrong 40% of the time. Egocentric bias. Egocentric bias is the tendency to rely too heavily on one's own perspective or have a higher opinion of oneself than reality. Examples of this are the false consensus effect, which is the tendency for people to overestimate the degree to which others agree with them, and the false uniqueness bias, which is the tendency of people to see their projects and themselves as more singular than they actually are. Information bias. Information bias is a cognitive bias to seek information when it does not affect action. Hindsight bias. 
The hindsight bias is sometimes called the I knew it all along effect, and it is the common tendency for people to perceive past events as having been more predictable than they actually were. Projection bias. It's the tendency to overestimate how much one's future selves will share one's current preferences, thoughts, and values, thus leading to suboptimal choices. Apophenia. Apophenia is the tendency to perceive meaningful connections between unrelated things. This bias is one of the ways a stereotype can lead people to expect certain groups and traits to fit together and then to overestimate the frequency with which these correlations actually occur. Another type of apophenia is pareidolia, which happens, for example, when you see images of animals in the clouds. Serial position effect. The serial position effect is the tendency of a person to recall the first and last items in a list better than the middle ones. Recency bias. The recency bias gives greater importance to the most recent event, such as an interviewer who can vividly remember just the last person he interviewed because they're the most recent conversation they had. It's related to the serial position effect. Authority bias. Authority bias is the tendency to attribute greater accuracy to the opinion of an authority figure, no matter what the opinion's content is. Unit bias. The standard suggested amount of consumption, like the food serving size, that's perceived to be appropriate. A person would consume it all, even if it was too much for that particular person. Availability cascade. It's a self-reinforcing process in which a collective belief gains more and more plausibility through its increasing repetition in public discourse. It can be summarized in the phrase, repeat something long enough and it will become true. It's related to the availability heuristic. Bandwagon effect. It's the tendency to do things because many other people do the same. This effect can happen for two reasons. Conformism, when someone wants to fit in with others, or lack of information, where the person thinks that the opinion of many people is probably more accurate than just his. Illusory truth effect. People are more likely to identify as true statements those they have previously heard, even if they cannot consciously remember having heard them. Next in line effect. When taking turns speaking in a group using a predetermined order, like going clockwise around a room, people tend to have diminished recall for the words of the person who spoke immediately before them. In-group bias. In-group bias is the tendency for people to give preferential treatment to others they perceive to be members of their own groups. It usually happens because we encounter and interact with people in our group much more frequently than with strangers. This makes people in our group seem unique, while people outside of our group seem boring and conformist. The mere exposure effect also plays a role in this bias. Spotlight effect. It's the sensation that everybody is focused on us that comes from overestimating the extent to which other people notice our appearance or behavior. Choice supportive bias. The tendency to remember our choices as better than they actually were because we tend to over-attribute positive features to options we chose and negative features to options not chosen. Ostrich effect. People tend to bury their head in the sand and avoid potentially negative but useful information just to avoid psychological discomfort. Selective perception bias. It's the tendency not to notice and more quickly forget stimuli that cause emotional discomfort and contradict our prior beliefs. Peak end rule. People seem to perceive not the sum of an experience, but the average of how it was at its peak and how it ended. I'll be making similar videos. Subscribe to see them.